Hi, my name is Per, and in this video I'll show you how to password protect a website with the htaccess file. How this is done? Sometimes we simply want to protect our content from uh, eavesdropping people. So let's see how it's done. First of all, here you see one.com um, and um, I have entered my file manager that you find in the in the dashboard it's down here files and security if you open it you will get into something like this and i'm in a subfolder called test i want to password protect my files here so uh, here we have the index files but it will protect any file in this directory so how do we do this I should say that one.com has a really smart method for doing this. You simply click here say, and say secure folder. Um, this is in Danish, so that's why it says Sigur Marbet, but we can do this here. Now uh, it will create two files. The first file is called .htaccess. The dot means this is a hidden system file that's not visible to anyone. Uh, except for those who are supposed to see it. And the other one is also a protected one called HT password. This is where we save the password. Now uh, the first file, the access file, if we edit that one, you can see here that uh, it says that the auth type is basic. Uh, here is a message that you will ask. Please enter name and password. And uh, then we have a path to where the password is hidden. It's actually in the ht password file. And then you should require a valid user. Note that this part, path is actually the absolute path. It's not a relative path. And uh, it's the path on the server. Now we can save our work and go back. The next thing is we want to uh, create an ht password file. If we click here on the file name, and that is a snob smart thing in one.com too, then it will, with the speed of light, we are still waiting and waiting and waiting. I don't know why the server is so slow this morning, but it is. Okay, here we can create a username and a code for the user. So we'll write, call the user Gandalf. And probably it would be a good idea to have the same passcode here. So you can see here Gandalf is our username. And Gandalf has a very, very insecure code here. It's called Gandalf. Now we can save it. Okay, and you can even add another user if you want to. Now, if we go in and say edit the file, and here again we have to wait, then you can see how the users are created. You have the user, and then you have the password, and it is an encrypted string uh, that they have here. Uh, if you need to create encrypted strings on your own, you can of course do this. But let's get back because now we have the two files and as I said, you can do this manually too uh, if you want to. You simply need an online resource to um, create the hash for you and then you can create all the users you want to uh, in a manual way. Now. Um, if we want to visit the website, I could click this one here. And if we go to the website, now you can see that I have to write Gandalf here. Oh, and again, oh, Gandalf here. And now I am welcomed and uh, you can see that there is a very, very strange looking word up here. Uh, and uh, uh, well, probably I should add a lot more valid HTML to this page 
But this is actually how uh, the, the password protection works. Uh, and uh, now the rest is, of course, designed. Thank you for watching this little introduction to creating an HT access file. And good luck with password protecting your website. Bye bye from here.